All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 50 of ASA. I cannot believe it, to be honest. Like, that is amazing to finally be at episode 50. So thank you all so very much for supporting this series, obviously. And so every 10 episodes, I like to do some kind of special theme for the episode, just to add a little something special to it. And so for episode 40, I did a everybody gets a SpongeBob quote or line, whatever you want to say, at the end of their question. And so for this episode, I'm going to do the same thing, but with Gurr from Invader Zim. Real quick, I just got to get a Spongebob quote out of the way just because I had to include a Spongebob reference in every episode, so here we go. Okay, so now let's get into the question starting with Mango Fett. First of all, that is a great, great username. And he says, ASA, what is your favorite fruit? Mine are mangoes. Yeah, mangoes are pretty good, but I love nectarines. Nectarines are definitely my favorite fruit. Next question is from IBH Productions, and he says, ASA, do you have a job? I gotta play with the baby! I am a babysitter slash teacher at childcare from my church, so yes. Next question is from Sinker Films, and he says, ASA, what is your favorite mobile game? I'm not going to eat that! To be honest, I don't actually have one. I don't play games on my phone or iPad, so don't have one. Next question is from Brick and Awesome, and he says, ASA, what is your favorite Clone Wars set? I think I'm going to go with the gunship from 2013. I guess that counts as a Clone Wars set because it's based off of episode 2 when the Clone Wars started. But yeah, I just absolutely love that gunship. I love the, the minifigures, just everything about it. It's just so cool. And I really wish that I could afford it, but it's really expensive and I don't think I ever will be able to get it. Or rather, I don't think I ever should get it because like I could afford to buy, pay like $700 if I saved up for a few months, but I don't know if I should, you know. Next question is from Wyandy Bricks and he says ASA what is your least favorite Lego Star Wars set? I saw a squirrel. He was doing like this. You know what? I'm only going to say based on the ones that I have because I'm sure I could come up with a few like really good answers. But from all the ones that I have, I'm going to go with the Inferno Squad Battle Pack from 2019. It's just such a bad Lego set. The minifigures are honestly terrible and the build is terrible. It's in a battle pack. So it's like, why? Why do you want a thousand Inferno Squad troopers if you wanted to build an army of these guys? You could, but it'd be really dumb because there was only ever four. I just, I don't like that battle pack. I feel like it was a way waste of a battle pack and just in general like a waste of a set. It was just a yucky set. Next question is from Dino Bricks and he says, ASA, what game are you playing in the background? Well, currently now I'm playing Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, but in the past like three episodes of ASA, it was a game called Human Fall Flat. So, very fun game. Next question is from Darkside Bricks, and he says, ASA, what is your oldest Lego Star Wars set? <gasps> it's got chicken legs. Yes, chicken legs. Technically, it's not my oldest because I only bought it like a year or two ago, but the Assassin's like Assassin Droid Battle Pack or whatever it's called is my oldest set because I did buy it new, but that set is from 2008. So technically, that is my oldest set. Next question is from the Lego Man, and he says, ASA, what is your favorite Lego Marvel set? <laughs> Funnily enough, I don't have one. I, I I honestly don't. I just, I don't even, I don't even know what like some of the Marvel sets look like because I never look at them. So um, I don't have one. Sorry. Next question is from Stop Motion Filming. And he says, what is your least favorite Lego theme? Yeah! 
That's a really, really, really tough one. I don't really know. I don't like to crap on other people's themes because, like, I don't hate a lot of themes, to be honest. Just because I don't collect it doesn't mean I hate it. I'm just not into it. If I did have to say, like, if I had to say that I hate a theme, like, especially one that's more current, I think I'd go with Monkey Kid. It's just a weird theme to me, and I just can't get behind it. Chima was really bad, and Nexo Knights was horrible. So maybe I should say one of those, but like if you're asking like for a current one, then I would say Monkey Kid. I just can't get behind that theme. And our very last question is from Stop Motion Bricks 1, and he says, ASA, what battles in the Clone Wars TV show do you like the most? <laughs> To be honest, I don't know. I like them all. Like, I, I, after, like, season three of The Clone Wars, I just loved the show. Like, the movie and then, the, like, season one and two were just okay. But after, like, season three, the show starts getting really amazing. And so, to be honest, I just, I love them all equally. Like, I don't think of any scenes or rather battles as better than others. I know that I should, but... Another reason why it might be harder for me to answer this question is it has been a good while since I've watched The Clone Wars, so maybe I need to watch that that show again, you know? Yeah, but that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all very much for all your questions and all that. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and of course, remember to ask a question or two for the next episode of ASA. And as always, I will pin my absolute favorite to the top. But until next time, have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all next time. I said y'all! Yeah!